fringe dancers. We're going to get into that special at this time. We have many different tribes represented from all over the U.S. and Canada. And you're about to see some top-notch dancing right here in the Tingly Coliseum. And I believe it's all ages. At this time, I'm going to turn the microphone over here to my sister here, Nikki Petrie. Ah, he's Chief Cook Han Gary, Chief Ignis Gary, Chief Leshai, Chief Kamayakin. Hinji baby girl is quiz quay, Apple Shin Raymond's Utan, Chit A Islim, Kwa Aki Chim Lim, Kwa Aki Dodokwe, Chin Yukwa Eat. Hello, my relatives, my name is Nikki Petrie. My Indian name is Meadowlark, and I'm a member of the Coeur d'Alene tribe. I'm a direct descendant of four chiefs, Chief Spokane, Chief Ignis, Chief Leshai, and Chief Kamayakin. My daughter's name is Carries the Medicine. And I have to say, looking in the arena today, our women are strong. It's a great honor to speak on the behalf of the Miss Indian World Committee. Um, this style, the short fringe style, is from the Plateau region in the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Western Montana. I was brought into the circle dancing this style, and so I'd like to take a minute to share with you what I was taught by my grandmas. <clears throat> a long time ago, uh, our women had long fringes, just like a lot of stationary women you see dancing today, but it wasn't conducive to the terrain that we live in. We live with mountains, lakes, fields, and the fringes would get caught. So we cut our fringes because our women had to stay busy taking after our kids, picking berries, fishing, and raising our communities. So. The hides stay short in the same shape that they were cut, which honors the short fringe. A lot of times you'll see a style either in the front or in the back that symbolizes a diamond or the deer tail, honoring that life of the deer that gave its life for the short fringe dress. I'll be um, alongside the Miss Indian World Committee and we'll be doing the judging. And I just wanna say thank you so much uh, to the Gathering of Nations Powell for honoring this style. <clears throat> in my community, when the colonizers first came, they told our women to bring their buckskins in for a show and tell. And what they did is they burned those buckskins. And a lot of women and their families decided to bury the dresses and hide the dresses so when I look out and I see this style danced and know that maybe some of these has been underground for generations, I see these dances as a victory dance. And to me, that's very powerful, and you should all be very proud. Lim Lynch in Chespa'us. Thank you. How about another round of applause for Miss Nikki Petrie? She's got a lot of knowledge. Thank you for the history, and thank you for sharing your knowledge. We need a hose. I believe we have our, uh, our judges are ready to go, right, Melanie? Our judges are ready. Our dancers are ready. We're going to have two songs. First off, we're going to come over here to Sharpshooter. We got the high sign worm, so anytime you're ready. Representing tribes from all over. Turtle Island, Sharpshooter.
How about a round of applause for song number one? Oh, I tell you what, that's some awesome singing right there. Thank you there, sharpshooter. Stand by. Let's see, where are we going next? Is that Black Horse? Iron Horse. All right, stand by there, gentlemen. Iron. Indian horse. Hey. I don't I don't see uh Dennis's drum list up here, so I'm kinda all right. Sorry, fellas. Indian horse from Albuquerque. All right, we just got direction here. After this second song, ladies, hold your positions. The judges are gonna come out and pick the finalists, and then we're gonna come back over here to Sharpshooter for that final song. So stand by there, gentlemen. So as soon as we get the high sign from our arena staff. All righty, we're coming over here to Indian Horse. Take it away. Albuquerque, let him hear it. Beautiful, beautiful dancing. All right, hold your positions, ladies. Our judges are going to come out here and select their finalists. And also, we need Vera Curley. If you would please come up here to the announcer stand. Mama is looking for you. You are in trouble. Vera Curley, come on over. Good singing there, Indian horse. I apologize for giving you two new names. Hey. Nikki. All right, we're going to ask for a straight song. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be here in Albuquerque, New Mexico once again. It's always a, a beautiful feeling to be a part 
of an incredible celebration such as this. We have top-notch dancers from all over Indian country showcasing their talent right here in the land of enchantment. At this time, we'd like to invite our finalists back into the arena. Maybe uh, your loved ones can bring a quick drink of water. Your honey might give them a sip of your Gatorade. Hey. And also, stand by, gourd dancers. We're going to be coming at you a little bit later in the program. So be ready. It's great to see all of our singers make their way down here. Without our singers, we're unable to dance. So on behalf of the Powwow Committee, I want to say thank you to all those gentlemen that made their way over here to share their singing talents with us. Aho, akeha, kiwawi amen. All right, Nikki, how are we looking? Or Melanie? All righty. Let's send these ladies to the pay window. Worm, take it away. Make some noise for our women's short fringe dancers. That was awesome. OK, come on up, ladies, and line it up and face south. Face Las Cru Cruces, I think it is. Hey. All right, we need the lead singers for Otter Trail, Showtime, and Young Spirit. If you would please, gentlemen, come on up here on stage and check in with our drum registration. Lead singers for Otter Trail, Showtime, and Young Spirit. Man, oh man, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, those dancers were on point. As our ladies are up here exchanging notes and uh, talking things over, you know, we want to say thank you 
to each and every one of you for making your way over here to the Tingley Coliseum to be a part of this great celebration. And we want to say thank you to the Powell Committee once again for bringing us all together where we can celebrate life through song and dance. A lot of our folks, they come from all over Indian country. My family and I, we always enjoy ourselves in this area. We get to go to uh, Old Town and check out the malls, have Mexican food. And also, we want to acknowledge uh, Pearl San Maripa. She came out here to acknowledge these ladies. You know, she's one of our elders from up there in the Northwest Pacific area. And we see her all over Indian country. And she dances and she enjoys herself with her beautiful family. You know, I personally, I got to see her up there at Muckleshoot, Legends Powwow. We got to see her in uh, California. They travel all over, so it's good to see you, Pearl. We wish you well, safe travels. It's good to see you. Oh, best wishes. And she always has nice words and good things to say. She has lots of stories. Yeah. She's gonna say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, these are my younger generations of our traditional dancing, of our traditional dress. Right now, my heart's bursting with happiness because I've been away from home since 1960 and married 56 years to my man. He's a northern Paiute from Nevada. <laughs> Each one of these dresses, I can tell you where they're from. They're from Pendleton, Yakima, Umatilla, Warm Springs. That's the most important thing. We're all one between the Nespers, the Colville, Yakima, Warm Springs, Umatilla Reservations. We're all, as five nations, we're one people. But each time we can see our women in our dresses and we can tell where they're from, we don't have to be told. That's what's beautiful about our people. That's why when our creator, he gave us a blessing, it says, this is how we are. This is how we will be. It is something when he raises the tracks behind you that no one can take it and redo it and say it's theirs because it is not. It belongs to the Northwest women, the same as our style of dress. When we go anywhere, we automatically know who we are, just like they know who I am. My dress is Umatilla, my design is Walla Walla. So again, I'm their great, great, great aunt. They're three generations below me. Morning Owl, Acacia, all of them. And it's beautiful to see this but my heart feels bad because my dress is in a trunk. My horse trappings and my Indian saddles in the trunk. Since I've been away from home, I have not used it. 
I've used the older style, the yoke, the basket hat, and they all know me by that also. So again, thank you, young ladies. It was good to see home again. Yeah. Thank you, Pearl, for those beautiful words. Uh, you know, that's what it's all about. To share the knowledge and pass down the traditions like that. I want to encourage all you young people to listen up. And, and also, we want to say thank you to the Miss Indian World Committee once again for uh, sponsoring this special. Uh, who, how about a round of applause for our Miss Indian World Committee? And I'm going to turn the microphone. Yep. Okay, I'm going to turn the microphone over here to Nikki. So on the behalf of the committee, we're going to first select our third place winner. All right, they're going to choose the third place winner. Nope, no, no. Diatihi White from the Coeur d'Alene Tribe. <laughs> Second place winner. Lydia McLeod, Nez Perce Tribe. <laughs> First place goes to Simpson Heavy Runner, Lapway, Idaho. Lim Lynch, Inchus, but Lewis, on behalf of the Miss Indian World Committee, for all the short fringe dancers and to the Gathering of Nations for bringing this very, very, uh, this style that's very close to my heart to Albuquerque. Lim Lynch, thank you. How about another round of applause for all of our participants that uh, took part in this beautiful special? Thank you, ladies. Thank you to the committee up here. Did a wonderful job. All right, Gore Dancers, get them on. The committee has uh, requested Buck Wild to sing our Gore Dance session here. <laughs> 